as I was promising yesterday after I did the unboxing that I would get a up-to-date list and show you guys uh, what Dustin and Simply Spiders had taken and sent. This little guy was the reason I didn't sit down and get to it yesterday, but I sat there and made up a list of the species that uh, ended up taking and being sent. Uh, it was to a child codes uh, mature female and a mature male to go with that. Uh, T. Vegans mature female and male pair. A mature female and Trapepi. Uh, mature female C. Hottie Hottie. A mature female C. Von Worthy. Mature female C. Formosa. A mature female uh, Y. Diversities. I'm not even going to try this scientific name, but a mature female blue fang. A... Anyways, I'll just sit there and get the list out and show you guys. There is also a uh, plume of peas and pentaloris, uh, mature female. Quite a few of them were actually uh, gravid and possibly will set there and produce sacks right off the rip so um he was absolutely awesome for setting there sending that and he sent about 12 bonus slings to set there and go with it as well uh there was a couple h max slings a few uh hottie slings that were actually produced from the the female that he sat there and sent and some uh Geniculata slings as well, but um, I'll sit there and go ahead and show you guys my setup that I'm using. I've got three stackable cabinets here that uh, I'm rapidly running out of room to sit there and put stuff in, and then also a uh, cabinet that I sit there and keep locked to where my zoo kids can't sit there and get into it but things are kind of mixed in between so I'll sit there and start pulling these out to where I can pop the tops on some of them and give you guys a look but everything came in completely healthy and was just doing absolutely amazing uh, I know the husbandry might not take and be perfect on some of them right now but I'll sit there and be adjusting that as well as I sat there and have them too because I had no clue what was coming in and we spent forever taking and getting everything kind of set up I mean they're absolutely beautiful and uh, I really can't sit there and be thankful enough that was the the vegans just a moment put that guy away and get some of the others out but we've got like a huge variety of just kind of everything. Uh, here's the uh, Trapepi. You can sit there and see definitely uh, fat and healthy looking and ready to go it's settling in extremely nice Hottie out and just in a drinking pitcher actually. She's starting to liven up a little bit too. She's kind of down there in the corner. Yeah, plenty of substrate to dig if she wants to or if she wants to go arboreal. She can sit there and take that route as well. I'll probably get her a, a better chunk of cork bark as well. I know I uh, the hottie male that I sat there and have loves his tube.
here's one. I'm not going to pull out both of the uh, female child coats, but here's one of them here. And he also sent me a male to set there and go with this one right here. So, as you can sit there and see, she's already sat there and started wreaking havoc on um, her enclosure and digging shit up and kind of having fun with that. So, I'm going to take this out because she wasn't wanting to come out yesterday. And she about made me shit myself by taking and trying to bust through the, uh, the paper towel. And she grabbed a hold of me, so I uh, had enough fun with her after that. Uh, we'll stick her back in. This is the uh, mature male Vegans right here. I'm not going to sit there and worry about bothering him either since you guys see the female. Sorry for all the fumbling around. I should have took all these out before. We have uh, this right. This is probably one of my favorites that he ended up sending in. It was the Pentelaris. And uh, she, he said that he had actually sat there and paired her already. And she hadn't dropped a sack for him yet. So, uh, I mean, she's gorgeous absolutely love the tiger butt and everything else and she's already got some webbing going on and and everything i did sit there and feed her last night and i mean without hesitation snatched food and everything so on to the next Von Worthy. Make sure. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Boy molting. No, a little bit stressed out and everything, so I'll probably put her some stuff to go down in there as well. Still hanging out on this paper towel down in there. This actually molted in transition. But he's still down in there. I didn't want to sit there and bother him. So I just sat there and stuck it down in. And he can come out on his own time whenever he sits there and feels like it. So. The diver sippy is right here. I'm going to get him a couple more things as anchor points to sit there and work with. But she's just been kind of cruising around too. Yeah, but 
He's gonna be hard to sit there and see him in here. He was kind of hiding stuff. I doubt it. Let's see him. You got so many, it's not even funny. But there's uh, Mimosa right here. And she had sat there and done quite a bit of webbing and everything already. Because I sat there and checked on her earlier today. And I don't know if she's got it attached to the lid or not. She's just kind of chilling right there. side of the tank as well and then one of the mature females is sent is right here let me see if it's out and about and I'm not sitting there seeing her so she's I think she's already got a burrow closed or closed in and everything else so but that for the most part is it he did sit there and send like I said some of these slings right here little guys down in you're gonna be real hard to sit there and see some hottie slings that he had sat there and sent Find one that's out and about. Um, <laughs> right there on the very top, if you can sit there and see it. And then two H Max lanes that I was pretty excited about because I still am yet to sit there and have one of those up to this point. So with any luck between the females that he had sent that are already gravid and then the the pairs that he had sat there and sent i should be able to sit there and uh get my breeding game going myself and move forward but uh just want to give a small update whenever it came to it all and uh a huge shout out to dustin and everybody at simply spiders definitely more than than satisfied with everything you guys sat there and did and even crazier when it came to the uh time frame you guys were able to to get it accomplished at like i sat there and said everything was packaged amazingly and came healthy and thriving and everything so i, I sat there and couldn't be be happier with my order like i sat there and said in the previous video you don't have to sit there and take the same route that I sat there and did in regards to breeding but uh I'm sure if you sit there and order a box and get a hold of uh Dustin he will sit there and get you taken care of in whatever direction it is that you're taking and planning on heading but of course like I said it, it's always uh, a mystery and you have no clue what you're gonna get but I can promise you that the man will take care of you appreciate you guys